Bye Sunday. Today's do-it-yourself project, we will be making some bunny ear scrunchies. Woo, these are so cute. Um, I got this idea from topshop.com and uh, they were selling these for $8 a piece. But today I'm going to show you how to make a whole bunch of them by using scrap fat fat <laughs> by using scrap fabric or by using, you know, old recycled clothes. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with this, shall we? First off, you would need some fabric, of course. Check out any old clothes you don't mind cutting up. This is also a good opportunity to go through your old fabric bins and take out scrap fabric that you've been saving. If you want to buy new fabric, you will only need about one eighth of a yard. When constructing the scrunchie, I prefer to sew. If you don't own a sewing machine, then I recommend this amazing glue. I just started using it and it's become one of my favorite glue. Once it's on, it's permanent and it's also washable. Lastly, you will need some elastic. I prefer to use the quarter inch elastic. Okay, so take out your fabric and cut a 18 by three inch rectangle. Next, fold it in half the long way with the wrong sides facing out. If you're sewing this, then pin it throughout the fold. After folding, take out another piece of fabric and cut another rectangle that's 12 inches by 5 inches. Once that's cut, fold it upward with the wrong sides facing out. Then you will need to fold again from the left to the right side. Now draw a leaf shape like how I'm doing it right here. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you do a point at the top and then you make it round and then you go inward, it looks like half a leaf. This will be your bunny ear. Keep the fabric folded and then cut the shape out. You should now have something like this once it's open. Now fold the lengthwise in half and then pin it along the fold like how I'm doing it right here. So now it's time to sew. I like to sew a quarter inch seam allowance and a seam allowance is the space between the raw edge and the threads. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can easily use glue and you can do this by placing a thin strip of glue near the edge and in the right side of the fabric. Okay, so for the bow part, leave the center open because that's the part where you're going to turn it inside out. I'm marking where I will start sewing to give you guys an idea. So these two arrows that I marked right here are my starting points. After marking, go ahead and sew it from the starting point to the end. I prefer to sew a quarter inch seam allowance on both pieces. If you are gluing, then go ahead and do the same thing by gluing on the inside near the edge and remember to leave the center open. Then let it dry for at least one hour before you turn it inside out. Okay, so I hope we're all on the same page by now. So once everything is sewn in, go ahead and turn both pieces inside out and press it flat down with a hot iron. Try to tuck the raw edges inward while you're doing this to create a clean look and also push out all the curves as best as you can. Okay, so once both pieces are pressed and nice and flat, cut out a 9 inch piece of elastic, then insert that through the tube you sewed earlier. Tie both ends together, just like how I'm doing it right here. The next thing you're going to do is tuck one end of the tube under the other and sew the opening together. Or you can glue it. Don't forget to also take out the bow piece and sew close the opening. Once everything is sewn nicely, go ahead and take the bow piece and tie it over that area where the thread line is. And you have yourself a bunny ear scrunchie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up for more awesomeness and subscribe if you haven't. Remember to come and check me out every weekend. I make new DIYs every Sunday. Love you guys so much. Ciao!